Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Elm Creek and Farming Simulator 22 in another mod minute or so. And thank you to my game, Steam. We have a beauty today, the John Deere 710. These things have a lot of configuration and they come with some implements that we'll also take a look at in the store. It is a smaller download, only about 18 meg. The log file is completely clean on these things. I love them. Let's get started taking a look at what we have here. So $7,500 will get you a John Deere 710 Lands, maybe Lands Edition. We'll take a look at that. So here she is in stock configuration. You can add some front weights if you like. Also add a front loader. Uh, tire selections, BKT. We have standard BKT. We've got wide. We've got rear twins, narrows, rear narrow twins, wheel weights, standard two, wide, rear twins, narrow tires, and with weights, standard three. Really like those kind of front tires. It's kind of old school looking, aren't they? Standard three, wide tire. We've got rear twins, narrows, narrow twins, wheel weights, back to standard. We can also do uh, Midas wides, wide tires, and weights. Um, we can also do, uh, yeah, Friedstein. Boy, I almost forgot how to pronounce that. Standard, standard two, wide, and back to standard. And we have Nokians. Now, I like the way Nokians look, but on this tractor, <laughs> I'm not sure they're they're the greatest, but hey, if it uh, if you like it, I'd say go for it. I'm it's growing on me, let's put it that way. Oh man. All right, so cabin, cabin options. What do we have here if I scroll up here a little bit? There we go. We've got no cabin, we've got a roll bar, we've got a roll bar with one light, two lights. We've got the soft top with the open front window. That is fantastic. We've got a hard top. We've got a hard top with a beacon. And we've got number two roll bar, number three roll bar, number four roll bar, and back to none. Loving that right there. Warning signs, let's go in the back here. So we have a no warning signs. We've got a triangular, square black and yellow, red and white, 25 kilometers an hour, or back to none. Hood ornament, we've got no hood ornament, or we can add the old classic John Deere ornament to the front. Yeah, gotta love that. Front fender is none, partial and full front fender. Auxiliary seats, we've got no auxiliary seats. We've got a left, a right. We've got a right with a speed sign, or both seats. Both seats with a speed sign, back to none. Exhaust, we've got stock exhaust there on the hood. Or we've got, I'm sorry, that was not the stock exhaust. This is the stock exhaust, the one that comes out at the bottom, shoots out flames. Yeah, that's the stock exhaust down there. Brand decal is John Deere. We can also switch that to lands, which does change some coloration. Here on top here and on the side. I think it also adds decals here. Um, the name of that, oh man, just slips my mind right now. But I know, I think it's part of the, isn't that part of the elect, um, electrical system? Anyways, sorry about that. Slips my mind. With John Deere and Land, so you can got to see the difference there on that side. Engine setup, we have a stock 50 horsepower or 62 horsepower tuned engine. Oh yeah. Mirrors. None, left, right, and both rear fenders, stock rear fenders, whoops, not mirrors, stock rear fenders. We can add, add the extenders on there for those wide Nokian tires. Mud flaps, we've got painted and you can have rubber. Light types in the front are halogen or xenons. It's like that there. Uh, connection hoses. We can add some connection uh, connectors for hoses back there. Extremity lights. You can add those newer style um, exterior lights there for warning lights. 
toolbox. You can add a little toolbox inside the cab right there to the left of the driver's seat. And as far as colors go, they give us some colors for both John Deere and Lands, and then some additional uh, options here if you so desire. I'm sure the John Deere purist, though, would not like that at all. Exhaust color, you can change that, as you can see down there. Hubs color, you can change those inner hubs there. Uh, roof color, change the roof color if you like. Rim color, uh, we'll just go, yeah, like that kind of deal. And we can change the hubs to yellow so you can kind of do that if it's opposite day for you. Uh, rear fender extension, it's one of these two. I'm not sure if I can tell how much it's changing. It's not much of a change either way, but you can do that. And of course, your seat color, we have set to yellow. You can change that to a green, black if you like, white, whatever you so desire. And of course, you've got license plate. Then we have a bail fork. Bail fork, you can change the main body and the forks themselves. We've got a shovel or a bucket. Decals you can add on the side right there and change the color of the bucket. We've got pallet forks. You can add a decal to the pallet fork and you can also change the colors of um, yeah, pallet fork. We've also got a silage fork. You can add decal to that right there in the center. You can also change the color of silage forks just like that if you'd like. And we've got a bail grabber. And you can add decal to the side right there. And you can change the color of the bail grabber. And that is it. The 710 and all of the implements. Let's take a listen though, right? That's what we need to hear. We want to hear what this thing sounds like. Yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. Take a look inside. Light comes on when you have your headlights on. Warning light for hazards. Look at the animations. Forward and reverse. And we've got gas. Nice detail all around, too, on these things. I love these little tractors. Old school tractors have a warm place in my heart. Look up there. Look at the nice soft top we have. You can almost smell the summer mowing with this thing, driving around, smelling the exhaust. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The roll bar option right here as well. Very, very nice. So that is the John Deere 710 by My Game Steam. I will have a link to the download in the description below. I would definitely try it out for yourselves. Check it out. See what you think. Give the mods, mod author some love. They put a lot of work and effort into these things. And the least we can do is definitely tell them that we appreciate their efforts for sure. Thanks again, y'all, for joining me here in Elm Creek for another mod minute or so. I do appreciate it. You all take care of each other, take care of yourselves, God bless, and I will see you again real soon.